Welcome Collective. This is Renee. And we're going to take a look at the messages your person wants to tell you. Let's see what comes out. We'll also get some personal messages. And I'm going to go deep into this. So we're going to also get some um, characteristics of this person. Okay? So stay tuned. See what's coming out. We have please what do please do what's best for your heart. We also have I don't know who I am anymore. So I feel like you know you and this person may have some sort of separation at the moment. There may be no contact, um, but I feel like this person feels very lost at this moment, and I feel like they feel very lost because they don't have you right they feel very isolated and withdrawn okay the, now take this energy how it resonates this energy could be flipping so this could be your energy at the moment but that's the message that i'm getting why can't i tell you the truth someone wants to come clean someone wants to tell you something that they feel like you should know you know and they feel like they can't tell you the truth because you're going to look at them a different way childhood trauma there may be things in their past that they're dealing with some kind of trauma the cards are just flying out now i need to figure myself out yeah, I feel like this person is doing a lot of soul searching. They may be spending a lot of time alone in order to try to deal with the things that they're going through. Because I feel like this person, this person may be going through a dark night of the soul because they're just constantly thinking, I feel so lonely. You know, I, I feel like this person is going through a lot of discouragement. This person is really discouraged. Look, I feel like, I mean, I wish I could be a different person. You know, they wish that they could come across as someone who's totally different. They wish that they could reinvent themselves and come back to you in a different light, in a different body, in a different atmosphere. I don't know where to start. Yeah, this person is feeling really disconnected from everything. Um... I feel like them putting themselves into this isolation is just making things worse for them because now they're stuck in their head about their situation. They're stuck in their um, feelings. They're stuck in their feelings about, you know, what to do next, where to go. I feel like this person cares very deeply about you, but there's a lot of confusion here. There's a lot of trauma. I don't want to be alone. Yeah, and we also seen that this person feels very lonely, right? Oh my goodness, I feel for this person. They're really going through it. What is the truth, right? I feel like this person is trying to find their own truth. You know, they're trying to figure out things in a way that doesn't overburden you is what I'm getting. But they really feel like you are the kind of person that could heal their heart. You know, reduce their trauma. You know, they have that connection to you to where they feel like they can almost depend on you to help them through their situation but right now they're trying very hard not to overburden you because you may have a lot of things going on with yourself at this time right okay i can't promise you anything I'm really getting that this person is not able to commit because of things that have happened to them. This could be male or female, okay? 
Um, but I feel like they're trying to be very open. At least their feelings are being very open with you. You know, even if they can't come across to say the words, I feel like with this person, you can see it. I need to hold back my true feelings for you. Yeah, this person feels very deeply when it comes to you. They feel like you're a healer, like you're a nurturer, like you can heal their soul. Okay, they're kind of depending on keeping this connection because it, it's like a lifeline. You're their lifeline. I'm really getting that there's a lot of trauma with this person. They've been through a lot. What other messages do we have, Spirit? Yeah, I can't make a decision. There's a lot of indecisiveness when it comes to this person. They, they really don't know which way to turn, which way to go, but they know they want to have you someplace in their life to have that lifeline to turn to. You could be friends with this person. You could have some sort of connection. But I feel like the heartstrings are a little bit more attached than friendship. Okay? Um, this person is definitely connected to you. I'm better with my mind than my heart. You know? Um, this person is definitely feeling like they definitely don't know what to do. They don't know which way to go. If this is a no contact situation, I feel like they're distancing themselves from you because they don't want to place all this negative energy around you because this person is definitely going through some kind of dark night of the soul when it comes to their emotions. They're, they may be isolating themselves coming into hermit mode, but they are in these feelings, deep, deep emotional feelings. Um, I feel like there's a lot of trauma with this person and they're like trying to really figure things out but they know that you are their lifeline you can be someone that they can lean on and they can trust you but i feel like they trust you to a point because they really want to come clean with exactly how they're feeling about the situation exactly how they feel about you but they're having trouble they're like i I'm not really sure what the truth is. I'm not really sure how I feel about things, but I know I want you there. I know I want you in my life in some capacity, you know, and I feel like they're fighting back and forth with that. That's the reason why we have this. I can't promise you anything because I feel like they don't know themselves what the future is going to hold. So they're like giving you that out if you want it like I may be someone very um very complicated to deal with you know I have all these complications going on I have all this stuff going on in my head and around me and I can't promise you that everything is going to be okay in our situation you know I can't promise you the future because I don't know where that's going, right? Because this person can't make a decision. They can't figure things out on their own. They need help working through how they're feeling at the moment. And I feel like they're trying very hard to figure things out. But that's the reason for this no contact. That's the reason why they're not able to speak to you at the moment. Because they're like going through this darkness you know and they're afraid to be alone they don't want to be lonely but they don't want to pull you in their mess I'm, I'm getting the words you know my life is messy you know the things around me are messy right so this person feels like they're like saving you from having to deal with them by not contacting them. Okay. So let's go ahead and get some more messages.
What will this person do when this no contact is broken? We have, please don't give up on me. Wow. A roller coaster. Yeah. What will this person do when the no contact is broken? What will this communication look like when the no contact is broken? not who you think I am yeah see what did I tell you past trauma okay jealousy I feel like you know this person is viewing themselves as someone who can't get you exactly what you deserve because they feel like you deserve a better person in your life. You deserve someone who's going to treat you so much better than, than I can because of all this past trauma, of all this stuff that I've been through. They may be very jealous about you. There may be a lot of jealousy when it comes to this person. They may have, you know, little spurts of jealousy that come through on, you know, certain situations. Um, they do want a fresh start with you. They do want to work things out, but I feel like they don't know where to start. They don't know what to do next. Yeah, look, I don't want to talk right now. They're trying to work things out. They're trying to figure out how to... Actually, the, the thing that I'm getting, they're trying to figure out how they can be the person that you need in your life. When they're this broken person who doesn't have it all together. They, they know that you deserve so much more than what they can offer you. And I feel like, you know, they're not able to offer you very much at the moment. That's the reason why they're spending more time alone. Like they are... Um, willing to go through this no contact even though they're missing you even though they're not wanting to be alone not wanting to be lonely they're like putting themselves in this situation to kind of save your heart okay we have be honest Okay. So I feel like this person really wants to be honest with you. They really want to tell you their version of the truth. You know, their version may not be the total truth, but they want to tell you their version of the truth. Right? We have laughing and playing. So I feel like, you know, when you and this person are together, you and this person bring an energy that has a lot of vibrance, has a lot of higher energy. And this person is actually drawn to that. They're actually drawn to you being this nurturing person because they view you as very caring, very loving, very playful. And they're actually drawn to that. That makes them feel secure. That makes them feel like, you know, you are someone very special and very unique to them, right? We have commitment. So I feel like this person is very fearful of commitment. That's the words that I'm getting. Very fearful of commitment. Because of past issues that they've had. They may have had a lot of people not being able to commit to them. Not being able to show them that version of commitment that... Maybe society is seeing. Maybe they see commitment as being able to walk in and out of someone's life. But being open enough to um, tell this person that, you know, I, I love you. I'm with you. But still going out there and doing their own thing. You know, I feel like this person views commitment in a different way of what society might see commitment as. Right? There's some, some kind of warped kind of vision when it comes to their viewing of the way things should be committed or the way a committed relationship should go. Right? Yeah. 
See, look, this is what I was feeling. My life is a mess and I'm working hard to fix it. Right? This person feels very broken. They feel like there's things in them that can't be fixed. Okay? I feel crazy love for you. I need you. Right? This person has a lot of feelings when it comes to you. My beautiful collective. They have a lot of feelings. They, they view you as someone who can definitely heal their heart, but they're worried about what this would do to your heart, right? And I feel like they're thinking in all sorts of spectrums how the things that they've done or the things that they've seen in their life can affect you and your life, right? So they're trying not to overburden you with their problems, their issues, because they feel like, like I said, I fit... That they feel like my life is messy, you know. Um, there's some things that, you know, they need to tell you that they need to get off of their chest. But I feel like they're, they're feeling like they don't know how to do it. They don't know how to start. They don't know where to begin, okay. There could be some kind of generational curses. In the situation, it could be that they didn't have a parent, you know. Um, maybe you and this person have children together, or you're thinking about having children together. And this person wants to break those generational curses. They don't want to have um, the situation unfold the same way it did with them, right? Um, I'm really getting that this person grew up with just one parent. That there was just one person watching over them. But they're watching on they're watching you on social media. They're trying to see what you're up to. They're keeping up with you in that way. You know, if you're on social media, I feel like this person is watching what you're posting. They're watching what you're doing. If you're on Instagram, you know, they're watching your um your Instagram to see what's going on with you. We have, please be patient with me, you know. <laughs> this person really wants you to have a little patience while they're going through their emotions. We have, make love to me, you know. I feel like this person really misses you in that capacity. They really miss you. They really miss being with you if you've been together. They really miss being with you. Um... I feel like your sexual chemistry is very strong and intimate. And I feel like when the sex, sexual chemistry comes out, I feel like that's where they can bring out that emotional soft side. Right? That's when they can be more caressing, more loving, more, you know, gentle during the, that time. And that's when they, they feel the most vulnerable when they're with you. Okay? Um, there's a vulnerability there when it comes to this person that that chemist that sexual chemistry is totally bringing out that emotional side. So I feel like during those times of intimacy, you and this person are like connected as one. You know, you're connected, and this person's heart is connecting with yours. You know, they're, they're not this broken person, this messy person during that time of intimacy. They're now this connected person who's able to show you and help you to feel exactly the emotions that they're going through. And I feel like that's when all of that vulnerability comes out during that time of intimacy. Okay. Let's see one more message. We have self reflection. Yeah, this person is doing a lot of soul searching, but we also have expect the unexpected. So I feel like this person is going to make a surprise pop up. 
I feel like they're going to show up exactly when you don't expect it. This is going to be very, very unexpected. It's going to be like a surprise. It's going to be a surprise pop up. So don't be surprised if this person, you know, suddenly puts in your DMs or suddenly knocks on your door, suddenly gives you a call saying we need to talk because I feel like, you know, they're going through this soul searching and they're always coming back to you. Their soul searching always comes back to you. Okay, so I feel like this person, you know, they see that they need you. They see that they want you. They see that you're totally connected with your intimacy and they totally feel secure and comforted when you're together. Right. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at. We're going to go ahead and take a look at what this person may look like get a message what are the characteristics of this person and of course okay so we have wavy hair so I'm seeing dark wavy hair on this person right Give me more of a message. Beard. Okay, so this person may have a beard or a goatee. Some kind of facial hair going on here. But I feel like you find that very sexy. There's nothing like a rough neck, right? Okay, we have average height. So this person... Uh, maybe about 5'10", 5'12", 6'2", kind of average height. Okay, we have straight hair. We have curly hair. Wow. Several people coming out here. Tell me more, Spirit. We have green eyes. For some of you. We have average weight. So if it's a male, probably about 180 to maybe 205. Oh, excuse me. That's my stomach growling. Okay, we have blue eyes. So for some of you, this person has blue eyes. We're going to get one more card. <laughs> freckles. Okay, for some of you, this person has freckles. And I feel like they're defining freckles. I really get freckles on the nose, right? Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at the love tarot and see where this connection is going. Gonna take a look at the love tarot. I'm gonna go ahead and remove these so I have more room. Oh, we have colorful hair in the back there. Where did that come from? Okay. Okay, let's take a look at the romance tarot so you can get more of a situation okay spirit give me a message for this person concerning the collective where is this connection going all of of course okay so we have the spiritual teacher and we have the three of swords 
So the spiritual teacher, this is the hermit energy, right? Not the hermit. This is the hierophant. This is the hierophant energy, the spiritual teacher. My bad. But um, we also have the three of thought. This is the three of swords energy. You know, there's, there's great rewards of spending in time alone. Use the moments of solitude to focus on love and the ways in which you might give to those around you. Shine your light as an example for others to follow and seek out the the spiritual mentor of your own if you feel if life feels unfulfilled right now and i feel like that's exactly what this person is doing this person is learning a great deal you know with this spiritual teacher card the hierophant this person is learning they're learning to look past heartbreak you know the three of thought this is the three of swords energy you know and i feel like the, what this card says is loving angels surround you to heal and comfort you. The sadness you feel will fade away in time. And then you'll be able to see clearly how important this situation has been to your spiritual growth. Take the time you need to forgive yourself and others so that you can embrace the future of joy. Yeah, so I feel like this person is learning past the heartbreak. You know, they're learning past this past trauma. They're trying very hard. I feel like this person is trying very hard to fix it. And I feel like this person is learning to show you more emotions so that they don't hurt your heart. I feel like that's a really big focus. They're trying very hard not to hurt your heart. You know, um, I feel like that's a worry that they have. They're worried about that. They're worried about how you see them, how you envision them. Okay? So I feel like, you know, once this no contact is broken, where this connection is going is healing. There's some healing happening here. It may be because you have decided to separate with this person or this person has decided to move on so that they don't instill more pain upon you. Because I feel like that's what they're worried about. They're worried about hurting you. We have the Ten of Action. Yeah, this is the Ten of Wands energy. So there's a lot of burden here. Okay, this person feels very overwhelmed when it comes to trying to deal with their shit. To get it together, you know. Um, and I feel like you're kind of overwhelmed by having this no contact, having this situation run as long as it has. Because I feel like it's been some time. Right? And you're like at your wit's end, like, you know, when is this going to end? When are you going to make time for me? When are we going to talk? Um, but like I said, I feel like this person is going to pop up very unexpectedly and want to talk to you, want to give you some sort of message But I can feel the intensity when it comes to this three of three of thoughts and uh, ten of actions. I feel like it's very overwhelming. It feels very intense. You know. Okay, we have the seven of, of abundance and the four of abundance. Okay, so with the seven abundance energy, I feel like you know. You and this person will be working on this connection. You, you're not going to give this connection up very easily, I feel. Um, there is something that you're going to work on when it comes to building the um, connection up, right? The Seven of Pentacles, this is, you know, working on your, working on the connection, not giving up on it, right? You're working hard. You're being very persistent in this situation. And you're like, I'm standing by here. I'm not giving up. So they're building a trust with you. They're building something with you that can't be unbroken, right? They're trying to fix these feelings of being broken in the past. And I feel like you're helping them do that. We have the messenger of abundance. 
okay? So the messenger of abundance. <clears throat> this is the uh, Knight of Pentacles energy. And that is, they're trying to take responsibility for their actions. Now, the Knight of Pentacles energy, this is also energy of getting some kind of good news. Getting that good news, that um, feeling of being more reliable, being more patient, right? This person is sticking around to see where this connection goes but first they need this time to like get up their ego build their confidence and see where the situation really unfolds because they're looking towards the long term they see you as someone that they could actually commit to but right now they're having issues right now they're having problems right they're trying to work through these commitment issues that they're not sure of. Okay, so we have the Ace of Abundance. We have the Healer of Emotion. This is the Queen of, Queen of Cups. And we have the Ten of Emotion. This is the Ten of Cups. So I, I feel like this person sees you as like a beautiful light. They see you as this new shiny coin that brings on a new beginning you know the aces this is a new beginning this is feeling very renewed very restored you know having this new abundance having these new feelings getting this new opportunity right and they feel like with you they have this new opportunity to finally get the healing that they're looking for finally get the healing that they need to be totally happy the healer of emotion. This is the Queen of Cups energy. And right now they're seeing you as the Queen of Cups. Very nurturing. Very caring. Okay? So I'm going to read to you the healer of emotion. This is a time to follow your heart and feel the fullness of your emotions. You may feel so compelled to nurture others that you forget to care about yourself. Flashes of intuition provide you with incredible insights. You or another person is a kind, tender-hearted, loving, and trustworthy friend. Okay? And the Ten of Emotions, this is pure happiness. So this person wants very much to be happy with you. They see happiness in you. Right? Life is a blessing with a wonderful and loving family. Great happiness and emotional fulfillment are now on the horizon. Harmony with those you love is assured by offering forgiveness understanding and kindness to others you're rewarded with unconditional love okay so this person loves you a lot more than they're letting on okay this person feels more for you than they have been able to tell you because they see themselves building and working on themselves for you right beautiful beautiful energy okay we're gonna go ahead and get your angel number and see where this goes okay what angel number do we have for the collective Okay, 1010, growth. Exactly. Thank you, Spirit. Spiritual awareness is opening you to all that you are ready to see. Your destiny is being fulfilled. Keep your intentions pure with your eyes looking ahead, and you will continue to increase the growth that is here. Okay, your affirmation. The more I invest, awareness in my growth the closer i continuously become to the outcomes i'm seeking okay so my beautiful collective i certainly hope that this reading has helped you i hope this is giving you the messages that make things more clear to you and if this reading resonates please like and subscribe 
If it doesn't resonate, feel free to take a look at another reading. Um, and until your next reading, my lovely collective, many blessings to you. Love and light.